Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to another love reading. I'm going to be looking at what's going on for you in love, what's been going on in the recent past, any challenges, who you might be dealing with, and where it's all headed in the near future. So let's jump right in for Scorpio. Spirit Angels Guides. What messages, what guidance do you have for Scorpio? For Scorpio. Messages, guidance, please. For Scorpio. I'm going to look at these even though I haven't asked my question. Wow, the Wheel of Fortune and the Eight of Swords. Some of you may be worried about a turn of events. Maybe worried that an opportunity will not arrive. We'll see. What's going on for Scorpio in love at this time, Spirit? What's going on for Scorpio in love at this time? Five of Cups. Disappointment. Regret. Things not working out. And the Knight of Pentacles. Interesting. Typically, you're not really like feeling this way when the Knight of Pentacles arrives. They bring a good offer, usually. Might take some time to get to you, but it's a solid offer. Why is the Five of Cups here? Maybe it's an offer that you waited for a long time for, but it's not what you expected. It's like there's a layer of disappointment there. Or maybe this comes in the middle of you feeling regretful, sad, disappointed. Tell me about the Five of Cups. Queen of Swords, Page of Pentacles, and the Eight of Pentacles. Interesting, Scorpio. I'm getting a strange message. I feel like this might be a very specific reading. I think you're getting something solid, but it's not what you want. It's like something's missing for you. Something is not... 100% what you expected or wanted. Um, I don't know. Some of you, like, I'm getting an energy of, like, you get what you want, but it, you don't like how you're getting it. It's very strange, these energies here. Let's see what's been happening in the recent past. What's been going on in the recent past? For Scorpio, what's been going on in the recent past? Two of Cups, okay, a very a special connection, a specific person you get along with, a soulmate perhaps. What's been going on in the recent past? What's been going on in the recent past? First, this one. Yeah, Three of Swords. Something's going on for you, Scorpio. There's the Eight of Cups. There's been difficulty in love. Yeah, but something's coming in. I feel like this Knight of Pentacles might be coming in while you're grieving or sad or disappointed or regretful. What's been going on for Scorpio? What's going on for Scorpio? Overall energy for them regarding love. What's the overall energy? Overall energy for Scorpio regarding love. What's the overall energy? Overall energy for Scorpio. Bountiful harvest, growth, abundance, patience. What's the overall energy for Scorpio in love? Victory lap and restoring balance. So I feel like good things are coming. There's divine timing. The Wheel of Fortune did come out with the Eight of Swords. So the Three of Swords, Five of Cups. I feel like in the midst of like difficulty, something good's happening, Scorpio. There's something that's like turning around for you or some sort of success that comes out of nowhere or I don't know. It's like an offer though because Page of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, very solid offers. What else do we need to know for Scorpio? What's the overall energy for them in love? Adventure, taking risks, initiative, excitement. It's kind of like the Ace of Wands. Yeah, it's like you're you're on an adventure awaits. Something new, something exciting. Something that I feel you weren't expecting, because divine timing is here. 
What's been the challenge for Scorpio in love? What's been the challenge for Scorpio in love? What's been the challenge for Scorpio in love? Four of Pentacles, holding on to something, holding back. I feel like this is more holding on. Challenge. A high Priestess, secretly holding on. Tell me more. Tell me more for Scorpio. What's been the challenge? The Hermit and the Page of Wands. There's the Five of Pentacles. Virgo energy with the Hermit. I'm speaking to a Scorpio because remember, not every reading is for you. Take it as it resonates for you. Things have been quiet or... Oops, I hit the tripod. These two energies are very quiet. The High Priestess and the Hermit. They don't speak. They're more doing internal thinking, reflecting, um, kind of holding certain things back, especially with the Four of Pentacles. So I feel like either you've been secretly holding on to someone, someone that you care about, or it's like the challenge has been that maybe you've had to let go of something that was really hard to let go of. You know, maybe there wasn't a lot of action and communication happening because I'm speaking to a Scorpio where there has been pain in love recently um, or separation. Something to, to have this three of swords, five of cups, five of pentacles energy show up. These are sad, um, lonely, abandoned, feeling abandoned, feeling depressed type of energies. So what's coming in for Scorpio? Who is Scorpio dealing with? Who will Scorpio be dealing with, Spirit, in the near future? Who will Scorpio be dealing with? Queen of Wands. Wow, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Page of Wands. See, I feel like you've been waiting for some sort of action from someone. Or waiting to hear from someone. And it hasn't happened. You know, it's been disappointing. But I feel like in the midst of this disappointment, like I said earlier... Something is happening. Tell me more about this person. This person that Scorpio is, has, or will be dealing with. What do we need to know about this person? Yeah, Four of Wands. What else do we need to know about this other person? This other person that Scorpio is, has, or will be dealing with. What else do we need to know? What else do we need to know about this other person? What else do we need to know? Ten of Swords. Okay, Nine of Pentacles. Hmm, I'm wondering if this is someone you already had an ending with. And things are like turning around. Tell me more about this person's thoughts, feelings, energies towards Pisces. I mean, Scorpio? Pisces. Maybe you're dealing with a Pisces? Tell me about... I haven't done Pisces yet. Tell me about... Scorpio's are this person's energy towards Scorpio. What are their thoughts, feelings towards Scorpio? Looking back, I feel like this is someone from the past, Scorpio. Our connection is divinely guided. Okay. Heartfelt apology. Yeah. My feelings for you have not changed. Bottom of the deck. Well, there you have it. I feel like this is someone that you had some sort of previous ending with that you might have held on to even though nothing was happening. And as you're like thinking of this person or pining for this person or unable to let go of this person, here they are. Their feelings have not changed. Your feelings have not changed. Who had a reading like that? I had a reading like that. Where that card specifically came out for someone. Hmm. Um. Well, of course it's not here. Man, that's going to bother me now. <laughs> because I feel like that card specifically came out and I wanted to know if maybe... I mean, Virgo had something like that for September. 
feelings haven't wavered. That could be the one. But anyway, so basically, I feel like this is somebody from the past that you already had a connection with, Scorpio, that might be coming to apologize to you. To tell you they're sorry, their feelings haven't changed. And for some reason, this is, it's like it starts a new adventure for you. Something new starts um, in the midst of the heartbreak or the heartache. Tell me where all of this is headed next. And I feel like this person is still like, they're still interested with the Queen of Wands. And it's like you were hoping they were still interested. That's the energy I'm picking up. Let me know if that's resonating for you in the comments, Scorpio. Tell me where all of this is headed next for Scorpio. Where is all of this headed next, Spirit? Ace of Swords, communication. A new beginning based on truth, honesty. Eight of Cups. I feel like you want to talk about what, with the departure. Someone walked away from this connection or needs to walk away from something else. Yeah, Ten of Cups. I feel like there needs to be, like the past needs to be talked about here so that you can have your happy ending with this individual. Yeah, Temperance, Sagittarius Energy, resolving issues, coming to some sort of balance, restoring balance. That's this energy. Now, so the Temperance card is about working things out with patience, with moderation, and regaining that balance, having some sort of harmony, resolution. So I feel like that's what is meant to happen here with this Ace of Swords, Temperance, and the Ten of Cups. Like, that, let's talk things out. Let's resolve things. You know, whatever issues we had. And I feel like someone walked away from this connection in the past. And I feel like it was your person. They have the Ten of Swords. And it's like they have to explain themselves. Maybe they walked away thinking that they were going to their Nine of Cups, because the Eight of Cups is, leads to the Nine of Cups, but it was the wrong thing to do, or it wasn't what they hoped. It wasn't like, because I feel like they're coming to you to tell you, hey, I'm sorry, I was really dumb, or I, I didn't know what I was doing. Um, so a very important conversation, it looks like, is what's happening next here. Queen of Swords to show up here as well when I clarify the Five of Cups. So it's almost like you're both needing to kind of share where you've been, how you've taken things, you know, how you still feel, and where you hope all of this goes next. So that's what I have for you, Scorpio. Hopefully this reading resonated for you. If it did, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, and yeah, that's all I have. Uh, appreciate all of your likes, share, subscribes. Feel free to comment if this resonated for you. And I'll be seeing you on another video very soon. Take care.